Good morning. It is Tuesday morning and uh, a little bit chilly this morning, but um, they, they're they calling for uh, for us to get back into the 20s again uh, before the end of the week. So I hope they are wrong because uh, I don't like getting into the 20s. It's just too cold. But um, <clears throat> so today is Tuesday and uh, on Tuesday, we pray for all of our church family. Um, I go down the the list and um, and just pray for everyone in our church family. And so there's a there's quite a few names that we have to pray for. And so we will uh, go on and get started right away. Uh, we do have a few people that are not on our uh, church family list that we need to continue to pray for. Um, Charles and Mary. Uh, please lift them up in prayer and um, Charles has been given a, um, a not a very good uh, prognosis on his health and uh, pray for Mary for strength in, in helping him with that um, and we're going to lift up uh, Sheila Sheila has uh, has written to the church and requested um, prayers for her. She wants to move into the Roan Mountain area. She lives down in Knoxville and she has uh, been following us on YouTube and so praise God for that and, um, and I am having issues this morning. Again, I have no idea where I am. <laughs> oh goodness. I apologize. I don't know how to work this thing. Okay, so anyway, um, I'm pretty sure that I am live, but I just am not able to see anybody uh, that is online. But that's fine. Um, I'm okay. It's all right. Um, and so uh, please pray for Sheila as she's looking for a place uh, um, here in Roan Mountain that she can move to. And she wants to uh, join us, be a part of our church family. And, um, and then also we're praying for Elijah, Jacob, Lisa, Oren, uh, Stephen, Tina, and Angie for salvation. So <clears throat> please remember them in your prayers. And um, we are going to, it's okay. Um, okay, all right. Uh, let's see. Good morning, Josephine. Good to see you. Uh, Miss Helen, good to see you. And Linda, thank you for joining us. Good to see you. I, I don't know what's going on with sometimes they just um, they don't it, it doesn't send a notification. It's really crazy stuff. But um, but we are going to be praying for our church family and it's going to uh, be a really quick uh, prayer and um, I mean, it's going to last a while, but I'm going to be uh, going down the list fairly quickly. So uh, hang in there with me as I go through these prayers. And uh, we are going to um, to lift up uh, everybody in our church family. Uh, and I have just completely messed things up here. Rosie got me going online there, and and then I hit my camera with the, <laughs> with the computer. <clears throat> okay. So I think I'm settled now, so uh, let's go ahead and get started, and uh, we're just going to go right down the list. Everybody that we have um, that has been a part of our church family that, it, that are members or, or, um, or have been joining us um, here lately, so um, join me with prayer. Our Father God, in the name of Jesus, we praise you, Lord. God, we thank you for this morning. Thank you for um, the... Uh, the day that you have given us, the the opportunity that you've given us to begin a new day uh, in you, with you. We pray that as we go through this day that we would bring honor to your name and that we would um, represent you well to the people that we encounter today. Um, Father, as we lift up this morning uh, all of our church family uh, Lord, you know each person individually. You know what they're going through. You know what they're dealing with uh, spiritually, physically, um, emotionally. God, we uh, we pray that 
as we lift them up to you, Father, that you would touch each person individually um, as their needs are um, are unique, each person. And uh, we, um, we just praise you, God, for uh, so many in our church family that we are able to uh, be a, a part of, that we are able to... Uh, um, call them our brothers and sisters in Christ. God, we praise you for blessing us so greatly, and we pray that you would continue to work in our church family as we grow um, your kingdom here on this earth uh, for your glory and for your purpose. God, we uh, we lift up to you t uh, Tiny. Uh, Lord, she's going through a difficult time. We pray that you would bless her encourage her and strengthen her in this time that she's going through. Lord, we pray for Rich and Stephanie. We pray your blessings on them. And uh, God, that you would uh, just bless their home and their marriage and the, all of their family. Lord, we lift up Isidro and Amanda to you. We pray your blessings on them, on their marriage, on their home, on their jobs. We thank you for them, Father. We pray that you would continue to uh, uh, grow them in you. Father, we lift up uh, Cliff and Heather to you. We thank you for them. We thank you, Lord, for the uh, their desire to serve you, their desire to honor you in their lives. We pray that you would continue to grow in their lives, Father, drawing them closer to you. God, we thank you for Brooke, uh, for all that she does for our church family. We pray your blessings on her. God, that you would uh, strengthen her and encourage her in her walk with you, uh, draw her closer to you and into a deeper uh, relationship with you. And uh, Lord, we lift up Larry to you. We pray your blessings on him. He's at a um, a difficult uh, few months, and uh, Lord, we just pray that you would pour out your strength, your uh, encouragement, and your grace on him. Uh, continue to grow in him and draw him to you uh, into a closer walk with you. Lord, we thank you for Jeremy and Catherine. We lift up Jeremy to you as he's been going through uh, this uh, this treatment, and, and now he has been <clears throat> not doing well at all. Father, we pray that you would uh, bring healing to his body, that you would give strength to him and encouragement. Lord, we pray for Catherine, that you would pour out uh, your mercies on her and, and help her, Lord, as she's uh, been dealing with a situation uh, with Jeremy. And we pray your blessings on, on Braden. And we thank you for uh, bringing him to be a part of our church family with Jeremy and Catherine. We, uh, we praise you, God, for this family. We pray your blessings on Robert and Cheryl. We pray uh, that you would continue to uh, work in their lives, drawing them closer to you. Uh, we pray, God, that you would uh, bless their home, their marriage, and their family, Father. Uh, Lord, we thank you for Brandon and Ashley. We thank you for, for all that they have done in our church family, for all that they do. We pray that you would continue to uh, work in their lives, showing them where you want them to be, and uh, drawing them closer to you into a deeper walk in relationship with you. God, we pray for uh, Big John and Brenda. We thank you for them. We thank you, Lord, for the blessing that they are to uh, to many in their um, in this community, to our church family, for all that they do for us. God, we pray your blessings on them and all of their family. Lord, we lift up Linda to you. We thank you for her. We thank you, Lord, for uh, for allowing us to be a part of her family, God, and, and uh, Lord, for the all that she does for our church family. We praise you and we thank you for her. We pray your blessings on her, that you would continue to work in her life. God, we thank you for Bruce and Katie. We pray your blessings on them, on their marriage and on their home. Thank you for all that they do for our church family. Uh, God, for Ted and Jean, we pray your blessings on them. Uh, for Ted, uh, for healing for his body. Uh, if it is your will, Father, uh, we pray, God, that you would uh, bring a complete healing and, uh, Lord, that you would give Jean and Ted both uh, strength and encouragement in this uh, difficult time that they've been going through. Uh, Lord, we pray for Michael and Di. <clears throat> we pray that you would open up a home for them, that that they would uh, be able to move down and, and be a part of our church family as they desire. And, uh, but, God, we know that that you are in control and that you are sovereign. And, and uh, Lord, we know that you... Uh, if it is your desire for them to be here, that you will open up a place. We pray your blessings on his job and, and all that she's doing with her grandchildren. And we pray that you'd give her strength and give them both uh, encouragement as they continue to grow in you. Well, we thank you for Terry and Joyce. We pray your blessings on them. Thank you for all that they do for our church family and for our community. We pray your blessings on them, on their, uh, on their marriage, on their home, and all of their children and grandchildren. Well, we uh, lift up Dean and Patty to you. We pray your blessings on them, Father. We pray, God, that you would 
encourage them to uh, continue in their in their walk with you, growing closer to you, Father. Give them the desire to uh, know you more and to uh, to live the life that you have called them to, Father. We pray uh, your blessings on their marriage and on their home and their families. God, we lift up Tyler and Kelly to you. We thank you for them. We thank you, Lord, for the work that they're doing with our young people and uh, the help that they give in audiovisual. We pray your continued blessings on them and um, in their home and their their marriage. Father, we thank you and we pray your blessings on them. Uh, God, for Stephen and Karen, we thank you, Lord, for them. Uh, we thank you for all that they do for our church family. We pray your blessings on their marriage and on their home. We pray, Father, for uh, wisdom and understanding in the situation that they're going through. God, we pray for, uh, for Deborah. We pray, Lord, that you would um, soften her heart to you. Uh, open her eyes to uh, to know and understand uh, what it is that that she has uh, been called to uh, to do by you, and that she is uh, your daughter, and and that you have called her to uh, to serve and honor you in her life. Lord, we uh, pray for Adeline and for Magnolia. We pray your blessings on these young girls. We pray, Lord, that you would continue to grow them uh, in their relationship with you and to grow to become uh, young ladies that bring honor and glory to your name. Father, we thank you for Miss Carolyn. We pray your blessings on her. Thank you, God, for all that she does. And, uh, Lord, for the blessing that she is to our church family. We pray that you would uh, give her strength and encouragement um, in this time that she's been going through. We pray, Lord, for healing for uh, the situation that she's been going through with her heart, Lord, that you would just touch her and, and bless her. God, we thank you for Andrea. We thank you for bringing her to our church family. We pray your blessings on her. Thank you for the work that she does uh, with the young people of our community <clears throat> at the school, Lord. We pray that you would continue to use her uh, to be a, a light to these, uh, to these young people, Father, that, uh, that she would uh, demonstrate the, the love of Christ in her classroom, Father. <clears throat> Lord, we thank you for Ron and Lisa. We pray your blessings on them for Ron's health, Lord, and we pray that you would bring healing to his body. Uh, Lord, we lift up Lisa to you. We thank you for uh, the work that she does with with our young people in VBS. We pray that you would give her wisdom and, and encouragement as she's uh, preparing now for our VBS this, uh, for this summer, and, and uh, we thank you for them. Lord, we pray your blessings on their home <clears throat> and on their marriage and all of their children and grandchildren. God, we thank you for Miss Marie. We pray your blessings on her. We pray for um, for healing on her body, for strength and encouragement as she continues to um, to grow in her relationship with you, Father. Lord, we thank you for for Doctor Wes and and Patty. We pray your blessings on them. We thank you, God, for bringing them to be a part of our church family. We pray, Lord, that you would continue to use them and grow them in uh, in wisdom and understanding of your word as they grow together. Lord, we pray uh, for their marriage, for their home, and for their children and grandchildren. <clears throat> we especially lift up their daughter to you, Father, who's uh, been dealing with um, with uh, illness for many years. God, we pray uh, your healing touch on her. Yeah, we pray for Arlen and Kathy. We thank you for them, for bringing them to our church family. We pray your blessings on them, God, that you would grow in them, that you would <clears throat> continue to uh, draw them closer to you. Give them the desire to honor you, to glorify you in their lives, Father. We pray that you would uh, just continue to work in their lives. And and uh, we pray your blessings on their home and all of their family. <clears throat> Father, we lift up David and Teresa to you. <clears throat> Father, we pray, <clears throat> excuse me, we pray for Teresa this morning as she is going to be uh, going through surgery. We pray, God, that you would uh, watch over her, um, God, that you would give the doctors wisdom and uh, guide their hands as they do the work that they need to do. We pray, Lord, that you would uh, cause everything to work well and work out well and that she would uh, uh, recover quickly from this um, procedure that she's going through. Uh, we just pray for, for healing for her, Lord. We uh, lift up David and and all of their family to you. We pray your blessings on all of them and on their home and their children and grandchildren. Lord, we thank you for Miss Effie. We pray your blessings on her. Uh, we have um, missed her for a long time. She's such a blessing to our family. Lord, we thank you for her. We pray, God, that you would 
just touch her and, and continue to grow her in a deeper walk with you, a deeper relationship with you, Father. God, we pray for Loman and Brenda. We thank you for them. Uh, we pray for them in this uh, time of separation that they've been going through. Lord, we um, pray your blessings on him and uh, their own highlands, God, that you would um, continue to bring healing and, and strength to his body. Lord, that you uh, would give uh, Brenda a peace and comfort in uh, knowing that you are in control of all things. Uh, can we pray your blessings on all of their family? And um, we just thank you for them, Father. For uh, Tony and Jean, we pray your blessings on Tony. Uh, all the health issues that he's been going through, Father, we pray your healing touch on him. Uh, God, that you would um, give him strength and, and uh, encouragement. Lord, for Miss Jean, as uh, she continues to do the work that she does, Lord, we thank you for the blessing that they've been to our church family. We pray your blessings on uh, all of their family and uh, on, um, on their home. God, we thank you for Tommy and Pat. We pray your blessings on them. <clears throat> thank you, Lord, for bringing them to our church family. We pray, that, God, that you would uh, pour out your blessings on their home, on all of their family. Uh, and Lord, we especially lift up uh, Victor and uh, Kylie to you, Lord, and uh, the new baby. Uh, we pray, Lord, your blessings on them. We thank you, Father. Uh, that you have uh, brought them to our church family. We pray that you would continue to use them and, and work in their lives and draw them closer to you. Yeah, we lift up Eugene to you. We thank you for him, for the uh, the work that um, that he does in our community, Father. We pray that you would uh, continue to grow him in you, grow him in, in the purpose that you've called him to, and, uh, Lord, that you would um, be the priority in his life in all that he does. God, we thank you for Wilma. We pray your blessings on her. We pray, God, that you would uh, bless her and encourage her and strengthen her in her walk with you. <clears throat> Lord, for uh, Donnie and Brenda, we pray your blessings on them. We thank you for them, Father. We thank you uh, for uh, bringing them to our church family. We pray your blessings on um, on their relationship with one another, on their um, strengthen them in their walk with you. <clears throat> And their relationship with you, Father, and continue to grow them from closer to you for your purpose and for your glory. <clears throat> God, we thank you for Nelson and Vanessa and Ava for bringing them to our church family. We pray your blessings on them, God. We pray, Lord, that you would uh, continue to work in their lives and, and uh, drawing them closer to you and to a... Um, into a deeper walk with you, and God, that you would show them where you want them to be, uh, what you want them to be doing as a, as a part of this uh, community and, and our uh, church family. Uh, Lord, we pray your blessings on all of them. <clears throat> we thank you for them. We pray for their boys as well, Father, that you would <clears throat> grow them to you and for your purpose. God, we thank you for Bob and Carlene, <clears throat> for Eliana and, and Nick. We pray your blessings on on them, we pray, God, that you would continue to work in their lives. Uh, Lord, we lift up Bob to you as he's uh, uh, going to be traveling to Europe and, and speaking to uh, churches and pastors uh, throughout Europe. God, we pray that you would uh, watch over him, that you would protect him, bring him home safely. We pray for, for peace for Carlene and, and for Eliana as they're uh, going to be uh, missing him during this time. And uh, we pray, Father, that you would just strengthen them and encourage them and grow them in their walk with you. <clears throat> God, we thank you for hope. We pray your blessings on her. We thank you, Father, for bringing her to our church family. We pray, we pray that you would continue to uh, to grow in her and, and draw her closer to you in her walk with you, God. Lord, we thank you for uh, Jimmy and Brenda. We pray your blessings on them. Uh, we thank you, Father, for the blessing that they are to our church family, to our community and uh, to the community of Morganton. We pray, Lord, that you would continue to use them for your purpose and your glory and that they would uh, that they would just continue to be able to serve you. And, uh, Lord, we pray that you would uh, continue to grow them um, in you and draw them closer to you as they uh, serve. Lord, we thank you for Michael and Raquel. We pray your blessings on them. For Rachel and Hunter, uh, God, we pray that you would uh, just... Strengthen this family, encourage them in their walk with you, Father. Draw them closer to you. Uh, give them the desire to seek you out and to honor you in all that they do. And, uh, Lord, that they would um, know where it is that you want them to be, what you want them to be doing for your purpose and for your glory. <clears throat> God, we thank you for John and Della. We pray your blessings on them. 
We pray, God, that you would bring them uh, back here safely, and, and uh, we pray your blessings on all of their family. Continue to work in their lives, Father, drawing them closer to you. Uh, Lord, we thank you for Jeff and Jennifer, for Camden and Bryson. We praise you, God, for bringing them to be a, a part of our church family. We pray, Lord, that you would uh, pour out your blessings on them. Continue to work in their lives, drawing them closer to you, Father, to uh, know where you want them to uh, be serving you and to uh, bring honor to your name. We also pray for Michaela as she's in school, God, that you would uh, protect her, watch over her, and uh, help her, Lord, to continue to seek you out and to honor you in all that she does. Lord, we pray for uh, Miss Jean. We pray your blessings on her. She's had a difficult year, Father, and and uh, she's missing the love of her life. And uh, God, we just pray that you would give her strength and encouragement. And uh, Lord, that you would uh, just bless her in her walk with you and and uh, and all of their family <clears throat> who are missing him very much. We thank you for them, Father. We thank you for the <clears throat> excuse me for the joy that they have been to our church family. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> I apologize. <clears throat> God, we thank you for Clay and Emily for bringing them to be a part of our church family. Uh, God, we pray your blessings on them. We pray for for uh, your continued healing and, and your blessings on, on Clay. And, and uh, God, we thank you for bringing them to be a part of our church family. Uh, we pray for strength and encouragement for Emily as she does uh, so much in, uh, in helping and taking care of Clay. And, and uh, God, we just pray that you would uh, pour out your grace and your mercy on them. And uh, uh, Lord, they desire to serve you. And I pray, God, that you would show them where you want them to be and what you want them to be doing for this church family and, and for our community. <clears throat> God, we thank you for uh, Gerald and Erica, for uh, Eli and Peyton, we pray your blessings on them, God. We thank you for them. We thank you for, for all that uh, that they do for our church family. We pray that you would continue to use them and bless them uh, for your purpose and for your glory. Lord, we pray for Cindy as she's been going through this time with her back. Lord, we pray for your healing touch, for, um, for wisdom for the doctors to know how to deal with the situation that she's been going through. And uh, we pray, God, that you would continue to work in her life, drawing her closer to you. God, we uh, lift up Steve and Cindy to you. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord, for bringing them to our church family. <coughs> God, we thank you for their desire to serve you, to honor you in their lives, and, and uh, for being a, um, a blessing uh, to the people around them. And uh, God, we just pray that you would continue to work in their lives, drawing them closer to you and encouraging them in, the, in their walk with you. Lord, we thank you for Josh and Maggie and little Jace. We pray your blessings on them. Uh, we pray, God, that you would uh, continue to grow them in their relationship with you, strengthen their walk with you, Lord, that they would uh, know where it is that you want them to be doing or uh, going, where, what you want them to be doing for your purpose and for your glory. Lord, for uh, Keith and Emily, we lift them up to you, Father. We pray your blessings on them. Uh, we thank you, God, for bringing them to be a part of our church family. We pray that you would um, grow in them, Father, and draw them closer to you and to a deeper walk with you. Lord, we uh, lift up Ron and Denise. We thank you for them, God. We pray your blessings on them. Thank you for bringing them to our church family. Uh, we pray, God, that you would continue to use them um, in, in service to you and that you would continue to grow them into a, walk, a deeper walk and, and relationship with you, Father. We thank you for them. Lord, for Mike and Susie, we pray your blessings on them. Thank you for them and for all that they do for our church family, for our community. We pray your blessings on them, Father. Continue to work in their lives, showing them where you want them to be, Father, what you want them to be doing for your purpose and glory. God, we lift up uh, Ken and Tammy and uh, Caleb and, and Bethany to you. We pray your blessings on them. God, that you would um, draw them to you, Father, draw them closer to you. Uh, strengthen their relationship with you and, and their understanding of who you want them to be for you and for your purpose. God, we lift up uh, Charles to you. We thank you for him. We thank you for being able to see him here recently. Uh, we pray your blessings on him for Carl and Christy and, and Carl Jr. And, and Carly and little Philip. Lord, we pray your blessings on them and all of their family. God, continue to work in their lives, drawing them closer to you. Lord, for David and Josephine, for all that they do, 
we thank you and praise you, God, for them and for their desire to to serve you. And, uh, Lord, we thank you for the blessing that they are to our church family. We pray that you would continue to bless them in all that they have going on and, and growing them uh, to you and in a deeper walk and relationship with you. Lord, we pray for Floyd and Angie. We pray your blessings on them, on their home and all of their family. <clears throat> we pray, Lord, that you would uh, continue to work in Angie's life, showing you, uh, showing her that you are uh, real, that you are uh, the God that she needs. And we pray, Lord, that you would uh, just uh, cause her to, um, to desire you with all of her life. We pray your blessings on their marriage and their home. And we thank you for Miss Helen, for all that she does. Uh, for our church family, for the blessing that she is in our church and, and for her desire to serve in the nursery. And we pray, God, that you would continue to use her and bless her and, and her uh, walk with you, Father. We pray that you would continue to draw her into a, a deeper uh, knowledge and understanding of uh, who you are and who you want her to be uh, for your purpose. God, I thank you for uh, for my wife, for the day, uh, today that we celebrate her birthday. I pray your blessings on her today. Thank you for her, for bringing her to be a part of my life and for allowing us to be a part of this church family. Lord, continue to grow in us and, and strengthen our relationship with you as we uh, uh, seek to know you better, Father. God, we thank you for Leslie and Kathy. We pray your blessings on them. On their marriage, we thank you for bringing them to our church family. We pray your continued blessings on them, Lord. For Miss Rita, we praise you for them, for her. We praise you, God, for her desire to, to know you more. We pray that you would continue to work in her life, drawing her closer to you, Father. Lord, for Pastor and Miss Carly and for little Hannah and, and Carlin and, and the new baby, Lord, we pray your blessings on them. Uh, we pray, Father, uh, that you would continue to uh, use them for your purpose, for your glory that you would continue to work in the pastor's life, drawing him closer to you and a deeper knowledge and understanding of your word. <clears throat> God, we thank you for, for him, for the love that he has for our church family. We pray that you would continue to uh, strengthen and encourage them in their walk with you, Father, as they grow to know you more each day. Lord, I thank you for Jan, for all that she does for our church family. I pray your blessings on her. Uh, thank you, God, for all that she does. Um, she is such a blessing to so many people. And, we just praise you for her. Continue to work in her life, drawing her closer to you, Father, and you know, a deeper uh, understanding of who you are. Lord, we thank you for Jason and, and Brittany, for Luke, Libby, and, and Jonah, and, and Hannah Kate, who celebrated a birthday yesterday, Father. We thank you for her. We pray your blessings on, on all of this family. Lord, we praise you for uh, the blessing that they are to our church family. We pray that you would continue to, uh, to pour into them, Father, as they... Uh, share all of their talents with our church family. God, we praise you uh, for uh, what they're doing and for what they're going to do um, in within our church, within our community. And God, we pray that you would continue to draw them to you, growing them in their relationship with you. God, we uh, lift up Austin and Megan to you. We thank you for them, for little Bentley. We pray your blessings on them. We thank you, Lord, for bringing them to our church family. Uh, we thank you for the blessing that they have been already in this short time. We pray <coughs> <clears throat> we pray, Lord, that you would continue to grow in their lives and in their marriage and in their home, Father, and uh, drawing them closer to you and showing them where you want them to be and what you want them to be doing for your purpose and glory. God, we lift up Jeff and Louise to you. We pray your blessings on them and, and Drew as he's uh, coming to be with them again. And, and God, we just pray, Lord, that you would uh, pour out your blessings on them as they're uh, going through this transition uh, into a new property. We pray, Lord, that you would uh, bless them and all that they have going on. Uh, continue to work in their lives, showing them uh, who you are and who you want them to be uh, in you and for your purpose and glory. God, we thank you for Bud and Quran. Uh, we pray your blessings on them. Uh, we pray for your healing touch on their bodies as they've been going through uh, some health issues lately. Father, we pray, God, that you would give them strength and encouragement and uh, allow them, Lord, to um, be able to uh, continue to serve you and uh, to be a blessing to our church family as they have been. God, we praise you for them. Lord, we lift up uh, Dana Dean and Jonell. We thank you, Lord, for them. We thank you for all that they do for our church family, for the blessing that they are in so many ways. And we praise you, Lord, for all of our church family. You are so good to us. And uh, we have 
been so blessed uh, by all of these that have chosen to uh, honor you and be a part of uh, what you're doing in this church family. We pray that you would continue to grow us to be a, a people of prayer and that you would uh, help us, Lord, to be faithful to, uh, to the calling that you have called us to, uh, to reach into this community and uh, make disciples and to uh, grow your kingdom for your purpose and glory. God, we praise you for this time that we've had to spend together. We pray your blessings on each one that is that is online, that watches later, and uh, God, that you would just uh, continue to grow our ministries uh, for your purpose and glory. We praise you, God, and we give you the glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. Okay, um, good morning, Miss Carly and Pastor. Good. I'm glad you were able to join us this morning. Um, so today's reading is um, out of Hosea, and uh, we will be reading uh, as soon as my thing opens up. There we go. Uh, chapter 10, verses 9 through 12. And uh, Hosea is a, 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 not a, a happy book, and but um, there is a there is still a purpose in it, and it's to show us where um, we need to be as a people, as a nation. And so um, this morning's uh, devotion, uh, Unto the Hills by Billy Graham, uh, we'll be reading Hosea chapter uh, 10, and I do have it here online for you, and I switched pages before I got there, and we're going to be reading verses 9 through 12, um, Hosea chapter 10, verses 9 through 12. Israel, you have sinned since the days of Gibeah. They have taken their stand there. Will not war against the unjust overtake them in Gibeah? I will discipline them at my discretion. Nations will be gathered against them to put them in bondage for their double iniquity. <clears throat> Ephraim is a well-trained calf that loves to thresh, but I will place a yoke on her fine neck. I will harness Ephraim. Judah will plow. Jacob will do the final plowing. Sow righteousness for yourselves and reap faithful love. Break up your unplowed ground. It is time to seek the Lord until he comes and sends righteousness on you like the rain. Amen. Um, so Billy Graham says, and I have gone over time already. I apologize for that, but we're almost done here. Uh, today's devotion is called Sowing and Reaping. And uh, the uh, Billy Graham says, The word of God says, They have sown the wind, and they shall reap the whirlwind. That's out of Hosea chapter 8. And he says, the immutable law of sowing and reaping has held sway. Our world is now the unhappy residence of a harvest of moral depravity, and we seek in vain for a cure. The tares of indulgence have overgrown the wheat of moral restraint. All humanity is guilty, but each fraction of society seeks to place the blame upon others. The Republicans blame Democrats, the Democrats blame the Republicans, the Communists accuse the Americans, Americans accuse Communists, capital finds fault with labor, labor finds fault with capital. An old farmer in India summed it up when he said, the whole world situation is just a mess. <clears throat> and this was written years ago, and how true it is still today. Uh, but, he says, as a minister of the gospel, I am an optimist. The world problems are big, but God is bigger. <clears throat> if we will dare to take God into account, confess our sin, and rely unreservedly upon Him for wisdom, guidance, and strength, our world problems can yet be resolved. There is yet time for bringing peace, but that time is brief. What we do, we must do quickly. What have you done recently for God? So um, this time of the year, we're getting ready to, we're getting our gardens ready and, and uh, planting seeds and, and getting ready for, um, so that we can have a harvest. And <clears throat> if you plant seeds of weeds and tares, that's what we sow. And it's the same in our life. It's uh, so true. If we um, watch evil and see evil all the time, and spend no time with God, then we will reap what we see and what we partake in. Um, so I hope that 
that uh, you can grow uh, stronger in your relationship with the Lord uh, each day, spending time in prayer, spending time in His Word, and uh, so that you can reap the benefits of having a relationship with our Creator. Uh, God bless you all. Thank you for joining me, and hopefully I will see you tomorrow.